Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use resource file in Robot Framework Test Automation. In Robot Framework Test Automation, user keywords and variables in test case files and test suite initialization files can only be used in files where they are created. But resource files provide a mechanism for sharing them. Since the resource file structure is very close to the test case file, it's easy to create them. In Robot Framework Test Automation, we use resource file for storing variables and for organizing the test folder in a better way. If we define the variable under a test suite, when variables increase, the test case files and other variables get cluttered and it's very difficult to read the test automation script from the beginning until the end. Let's use the existing Mahara test project in this video tutorial. After opening the Mahara test project, you will see that we have login suite and we have four variables defined for web elements and we have two test cases, valid user login and logout. The four variables are defined under the login suite root. So in order to better organize the test, we can create a resource file and move the variables into the resource file or we can create a resource file and add variable to the resource file. So before we create a resource file, let's copy the variables in a notepad for future use. Let's click on text edit. So we see variables are defined in the variable section. Let's select the variables here and right click, click on copy, open a notepad and let's uh, paste on here. So we don't need to look at the web page to get the ID. Let's minimize notepad. Now let's delete the variable. Select one variable and right click and delete. And select another one, right click, delete. Let's delete other two variables. So let's save it. Now let's look at the valid user login and logout test cases. Click on the edit. So now all the variables are a kind of red. This means the locator unknown variable. The variables are not defined. So now let's add a resource file and define variables within the resource file. Let's right click on the login folder and uh, select new resource. Let's name it login UI. And for the format, let's select TXT. So click on OK. Now the resource file is created. So we have add a scalar. We can add variable. So let's click on this. And first variable, let's uh, select the login username. So copy and paste on here. The value is ID, uh, copy and paste. Next one is the comment, copy and 
paste now click OK so first variable gets added to the resource file let's add second one add scalar login password text box and this is id equal to login login password let's add the comment click ok um, let's add the third one submit button copy this one paste and id equal to login submit and the comment is login submit button locator paste and ok let's save this so let's add the logout link copy this one and for the very value it's a link equal to logout paste and for the comment so logout link copy now click paste so click ok now the four variables are defined under the login ui.txt resource file so let's open the test case and again the variables are still red it means unknown variables so let's click on the login suite and add the resource so click on the resource since the resource file is save it under the login folder uh, let's just directly type in the resource uh, file name login ui.txt yeah, in the comment we can put resource file contains login ui elements so click ok now there is a link here and click save now let's look at the test case now these variables are um, displayed as green it means the variables are found so now we can run the uh, test suite click on the login suite and click on the run button and click on start So when looking at the test result, this logout test failed and the failure is the logout link not found. So we can look at uh, why the test failed. And we moved um, the website on the screen and uh, there is a logout link. Um, but if you look at the inspect element uh, actual link text 
easy log out so it has the uh, log out link so we can use uh, this x pass or we can look at why this one is failed so let's click on log out and let's close this window and let's look at the logout link so here is the uh, link equal to logout so let's it looks like this element is uh, defined uh, correctly so we can run the test again oh it's, this is because uh, we did not use the correct variable name in the logout test case so let's replace this one this is logout link and it's defined with the link let's copy this and click element paste onto this and wait until element is visible for this one let's pay choose um, submit button ID let's copy this one and paste on this let's uh, save this now all variables are are green now let's run the test again so click start So now we have two tests, um, two critical tests, two passed, zero failed, and two test total, two passed. So this means all the um, tests passed. So in this video tutorial, I explained how to use a resource file in robot framework test automation. So for any specific test case, we can define a resource file within a, a folder. And we can use that resource file uh, in a test suite level. And this is very helpful for organizing the test and also uh, very helpful for changing web elements uh, in one place throughout the test cases. If you need more information or more examples, please visit www.seleniummaster.com. Thank you for watching.